What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Farms Up News, baby. Hashtag Farms Up News. Today, we've got 21 PC mods in testing. We've got 37 console mods in testing. A2 Square Studios TLX 2020 updates getting closer. Black Eyes modding are moving. A dub modding is mowing. Missy B's got some cows. Casarius Mane's Case Magnum has been released. We are less than 48 hours from this weekend's big live stream. Shamba has a few mods that are pending release. Northeast Farm Group teased their Challenger tractor mods. Peter716 shows off his custom animal pins. Vertex Design are changing the game. Of course they are. Plus, Oxygen David shows off his most realistic map ever, Comston Farm. Let's check it out. In testing for PC, we have the Fent Oil Drum, FLC, Flegal Timber Runner Z Crane Pack, Homemade Auger Conveyor, John Deere 600F Series, KTU 10, LaBausch Gold 11,000 XL, Little Carport, Lizard Quad, Matri Antenna 2722, Material Prefab, NMC Warning Weight, Old Fence with Gate, Old Polish Cow Barn, PIM 40, Seasons Geo Bavaria, Seasons Geo La Cornella 2.0, Shed Pack, Stora Tornado 600. MD, Swath Roller, and the Valentini Maxi Squalo 4700. It has T4 console empty Brussels and late H30 box turner. British Cow, Sheep, and Pigs Placeable. Case Magnum 8900 series. Corteva Gallon Fertilizer and Herbicide Tanks. Deutz Verimaster. DRL 140N. Fentwade 1250 Kilogram. Grain Quit Storage. Horse Corral. IHC 33 series. John Deere 6M series. John Deere 8R US series. Krohn Emslin Balin Wagon. La Petite Semo. Large Machine. Machinery Shed, Lizard Bunker Silo, Lizard Cow 3M, oh boy, here comes the FS19 picks, Lizard P46, Lizard RLP400, Lizard SD1, Lizard Silage Adjustment, Lizard Weight Pack, Lizard Z510, the non-Lizard branded Maxi Squalo 4700, Millennial Farmhouse, Millennial Farm Shed Pack, New Holland Dealer Signboard, New Holland TS Series, Oberleitner, Open Pig Pasture, Residence Pack, Rodeo Pickup, Random Bulk Carrier r -Line. Ripper 4500, Small Manure Barrel, Water Tower, and Wooden Fence. With all that being said, we still have 82 mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is four workdays. Moving into today's top stories, first up from 82 Square Studio, we got to see some of their work for the next update in their live stream last night on the TLX 2020 series. And with that, come see first look videos, hey, and a first of which we'll be releasing later today on this channel. I'll be showing off the new wheels, new truck bed, and more, so make sure you stay tuned for that. It's going to be released this afternoon. In the meantime, make sure you go check out David on Facebook and on YouTube to get all of his information first. Next up, we've got a pick from Black Eyes Modding, the creators of Ishia Farm. A few days ago, we saw them tease Rice. Well, today they say, we are no longer in Ishia, but where will we end up? I think this all but confirms the fact that there's going to be a new map tease soon by Black Eyes Official, and I think this is going to be including Rice. They have typically made all their mods for all platforms, so I think it's safe to assume that their next one's going to be doing that as well. Only time will tell, but this new information gets me really excited to see what they have in store for us. Some of you may have noticed that ADAP Mining's John Deere 520 flow mower is not in testing and has not been for the past few days. Yes, the mod did fail, so he and the Tree Amigos of FS have decided to take the opportunity to make it even better. Burma's Modding is working on creating a new spec and wear map for the mower, which is going to make it look even more realistic than before. Look out for this one to be back in testing soon. Missy B's back working hard on her new map with her farm. Today she posted saying that the cow shed is on the map and now there's only coating left to do on it. The pig pen is also done and has already been coated, just needs to be put on the map and tested. This will be Missy B's first map and is being made for all platforms. Casarius Modding has released their Case Magnum 8900 series on their Facebook page for PC players with the Mod Hub version still in testing right now for console. However, it will likely be released on all platforms there as well. The tractor is going to include two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive versions, three-wheel brands including Goodyear, Michelin, and Custom Modding's new Firestone tires. There will also be front attachment options, fender options, and a front loader mount option as well. As most of you know, I've been waiting for this mod for a while now so that I can add it to my classic Case IH farm on Dreisternoff, and I will be showing that off this Saturday during the 12-hour live stream. Speaking of the 12-hour live stream, thank you to everyone that sent in videos and pictures to be included in the community segments of the stream. I have edited most of these together already, with a few more left to be done today, and I'll be showing them all off during the stream this weekend. You might even get to see Damama. You're definitely going to get to see Damama. If you didn't get your post in in time, don't worry. I'll be doing another community spotlight video in the future, so make sure you stay tuned for that. 
I do have a link to the schedule in the description, so make sure you check that out for when everything's going to be happening during the stream this Saturday. I will also be announcing how to enter the giveaways at the beginning of the stream, so don't miss that. The first giveaway is only one hour in, so make sure you're early. Shaba has posted saying that the update to La Cornella 2.0 and their Forge Mixer should both be out today and will likely be by the time this video is released. Shaba has said that the factories will work with Seasons, but they won't work properly. So they ask us to please be patient while they work on them to do what they should do, just like the base map would without Seasons. I believe that Northeast Farm Group have confirmed what tractor they're going to be going with. We were talking about the 500 and 600 a few days ago, and if it wasn't clear enough already, I think we're going to be getting to see the MT500D. Here we get to see it merging hay with one of their other mods, the Aglan Hay Crimper. My understanding is that they're making the Wheel Challenger tractors for all platforms, making the 500 and 600 the first of their kind in Farming Simulator. We've got the 1000 series, but nothing smaller. I can't wait to see these. Peter716 has released a video showing off their placeable animal pens from New Park Farm, all of which are currently in console testing. If you want to check them out into further detail, I will have a video linked down below for you to check out. I really like the idea of having placeables from one map that you can use on another map. Alien Jim really pioneered this idea back with Mercury Farms with his sheds, and other creators have jumped in, including Mapper's Paradise, and now Peter716 is new, just to name a few. Very excited to see this, as these are some of my favorite mod pens in FS. Vertex Design have announced two things today, half preview, half news. First, we get to see the Lizard HGLM W300 Mulcher with a three meter working width, selectable colors, and warning signs in a shaft from one of their artists as well on the side. This is gonna be the first project that's been completed and implemented into Farming Simulator 19 with Blender 2.83. This was made possible by one of the Vertex artists who wrote a completely new i3D exporter for Blender 2.83 and fills a huge gap. Since Blender is much more stable than Maya, it simplifies many modding processes and offers the community a low cost tool to make modding easier. The exporting is currently in pre-release basically a beta stage for Blender 2.83 with no backwards compatibility. Unfortunately, the Mulcher will not be released on console because of Lua scripts. However, if you want to get your hands on the exporter, it is available on GitHub. And lastly, today we get some more picks from Comsden by Oxygen David. The idea behind this map is this is going to be Oxy's most realistic map to date with nothing holding him back, going full speed to make this the best map that he can make. Here we get to see a little Massey driving around with beautiful scenery all around and some harvesting from the smaller Kloss Harvester. This is likely going to be the most detailed thing we've ever seen in Farming Simulator, so get ready. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There's no release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I didn't talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording. Please refer to previous episodes for the most current status of other projects, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for up-to-date information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, enjoy the GoHam fam, make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. With all being said, I hope you guys have a great day. We will see you later. Peace! I've been drinking my coffee this week out of Christmas mugs. No shame.